Now we know that you become what you think about most of the time. And we know that successful people think about their goals most of the time. And in another segment, I talk about the recipe for goal setting, which in brief is decide exactly what you want, write it down, set a deadline, make a list of everything you need to do to achieve it, organize the list into a plan, and then take action. And the seventh step, the final step, is do something every day. So where do you get to the goals in the first place? And this is where the 10-step method comes into play. What you do is you take a clean sheet of paper. And this is where you're going to write down your goals. I have people in my seminars, by the way, take a clean sheet of paper and write at the top of the page the word goals and today's date. I say, this is going to be a very important piece of paper for you, so make a separate piece of paper. And then what I do is I tell them, now write down 10 goals that you'd like to accomplish in the next 12 months. But these goals has three special characteristics or qualities. First of all, you write them in the present tense. Your subconscious mind is like a special computer that can only be accessed if you, if you program it with commands in a particular language, and the language it understands is the language of now, the present tense. What does that mean? You don't say, I will earn such and such an amount. You say, I earn this amount of money by such and such a date. I weigh this number of pounds by such and such a date. I drive this type of car, live in this type of home, achieve this type of goal. So you say it as though you are looking back and you've already accomplished the goal. It's already a reality. This is the kind of command your subconscious mind goes to work on immediately. The second P, we call these the three P's. The first is a present tense. Second is a positive. You always use positive language because your subconscious mind cannot process a negative. So you say, for example, not I will quit smoking, but I am a non-smoker. Not I will lose weight, but I weigh this number of pounds. Always phrase your, uh, your goals in the positive tense. The third P is called the personal. And you always use the word I when you write down a goal for yourself. Because you are the only person in the universe who can use the word I in reference to yourself. And whenever you use the word I, you signal your subconscious and superconscious minds that a very important goal is coming down from head office. And when you use the word I, you always follow it with an action verb. And here's what we know. The shorter, sharper, the simpler the goal statement is, the faster it will come into reality. So don't write a goal statement that takes a paragraph. Write, I earn X number of dollars by such and such a date. I achieve such and such a goal by such a date. And it's always I plus an action verb. It's the most powerful way of programming your subconscious and unlocking your mental powers. So now you take a clean sheet of paper, and what you do is you write down 10 goals in the, positive, the present tense positive person. And you write them down, and you end each goal with the words by such and such a date. In other words, every goal is time dated. This exercise takes three to five minutes. In my seminars, I have everybody go through this, and I wait until everyone is done. Once you've completed this exercise, something marvelous has happened. You've moved into the top 3% of adults in our society because only the top 3% of adults have ever written down their goals like this, 10 goals in the present tense, positive personal sense in their lives. Now, I have some more good news for you, is that when you write down your goals, if all you did was take your list of goals and put it away somewhere where you wouldn't see it for an entire year, when you pulled that list out at the end of 12 months, you'll be absolutely amazed. You'll be both happy and sad. You'll be happy because when you open this up, eight of your 10 goals will have been accomplished in the most remarkable ways. And you'll be sad because you wish you had set more goals and bigger goals.